everyone, Chris Murray of Elevation Wheel here. Sorry it's been a little while since last video. Things have been busy at the shop as you would expect expect coming into summer, but got a weird project, so I figured it'd be a good one to do a video on. A uh, friend is building a, or has a scooter for Burning Man where it's got an eccentric wheel. Basically, he wants to make it more eccentric. It's propelled like pumping around a bowl with a skateboard or a bike. Um, you push into the low spot and then it kind of helps accelerate you. He wants more eccentric so he can effectively change his gear ratio. No idea if my plan on how to do this is going to work well or not, but we'll find out. So I'm sure you're curious how I plan on getting these spoke links figured out. Um, 3D printed little blocks to hold the rim, a little stand to hold the hub, um, put the old wheel on here, mesh, marked its spot, and then I moved it the amount that Al requested we change the offset to. Um, and then I'm just gonna manually measure each length. And then thankfully, I have a spoke cutter. Um, really glad I've got it for this project because every spoke length I'm sure will be different. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this is the ideal way. If somebody's got a better option out there, let me know, because I'm just curious. Um, but hopefully this works. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so everything is laced up. I have a feeling I'm going to have to recut a handful of these spokes as I bring them to tension and see where I measured wrong. Um, but that's an eccentric wheel. I'm not sure if my way was the best or not. Um, it seemed to get the job done, but I definitely had to recut a couple of the spokes because I measured wrong. Uh, some of that's probably just trying to move too quick. Um, these little blocks I printed were actually pretty helpful. Um, they helped hold everything in place, keep the hub off the ground so it was kind of stable um, while I was figuring out spoke length. This little thing to hold the hub, the stand I made, was really helpful initially for laying things out, getting positioning right, and getting the first few spokes cut. So it kind of held everything into place. And then after that, it was just more annoying than anything, so I got rid of it. Um, but yeah, it took about three, three and a half hours to do, so definitely a lot longer than a standard wheel build. Um, had a few that, as I was tensioning it, I realized they were shorter than I thought and needed to replace them uh, when the spoke nipple broke. Um, but I uh, think it'll work well. Um, definitely changed the ratio from his old wheel, so hopefully it helps him move a little bit better. Um, if you aren't familiar with these, you basically pump into it like you're riding a skateboard at a bowl or a skate park or something like that, and that's what propels it. Um, but yeah, it was actually kind of a cool build. Never done anything like that before, so it was always interesting. Um, it's always cool when it's a full US built wheel, so it's a Velocity Blunt 35 rim, fill with, or a Paul hub on the front, and then white um, wheelsmith spokes, or DT spokes actually. Um, I forgot I was at a wheelsmith this morning. Um, but yeah, it worked well. If you guys like weird content like this, let me know in the comments below. If you've ever done something like this and know a better way, also leave that in the comments below because I'm curious to see what would be a more efficient way in case I get asked to do this again. Um, and then keep building wheels and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks. See ya.